Yo, what's happening, my people? It's your boy Chance Jollivan, aka Smooth, back with another video. So tonight, what we're talking about? BMF Season Three, Episode Five: The Battle of Tech Wood. So now we see Meech and uh, Terry. They finally gonna be team back up. So Terry is going to the uh, going to the eight. So the Flinnery brothers are in the eight together. So they getting getting it together, man. Uh, T. He finally gets in Loco's good graces because they did move all their weight last episode. We see Chains over hating ass, man. This nigga, he around the crew and stuff, man. They they all up in the club and stuff, man. Meech. Meech, they punching somebody, dog. Like, they don't really want to show him, like, killing people and stuff because he he's still trying to get out of jail. So, this... I guess like people can look at this as character or something. We see your character on TV and you're killing somebody every episode. But you want it to be entertaining. He can't be a punk. So he's kicking somebody ass every episode. Every episode, Mitch come. <laughs> he got a right cross like that's out of this world. Like that's his superpower on here. He will punch the shit out of you. No matter who you are. So that's, that's Mitch right there. <laughs> After the club, I'm like, they they go run up on a boxer. They're like, that's Mac Attack. Is that Mike Tyson? <laughs> Mac Attack, cause you remember Mike Tyson punch out Lil Mac. Is so I'm like, that's who I would I would assume that it was Mike Tyson or something. But then they, the the people shoot up the club and stuff, man. One of his homeboys get killed, of course. So it's always some bullshit. Change is all change is all like for retaliation uh stacks. Yo man, we gotta get these niggas shouty. Yo, I know we got we gotta go up and tech wood, man. We gotta kill these niggas, man. So he always just he's a hot head, like he off with his bullshit, man. Like I like two chains as a personality. I like him as a rapper and stuff. I hate him on BMF. I don't know if, if I hate his acting more or just his character. Like I just I hate him on here because just he, he's a bitch ass nigga. He's a he's a foul dude. Uh Charles is meeting with a young lady, man. So a young lady from the church, she was in a band and whatever. So he's really trying to do right. He's trying to get her to help him with a song. And he wants to to try to woo um his his wife again. Motherfuckers is hate. They say, hey, you know, they see see him. He he reaches out and touches her hand. Why he do that? They see it. You know that's about to be some bullshit. You know that's about to be some bullshit later on the episode. Uh, Brian, he gets out of jail. So he was arrested trying to follow Meech and stuff. But the thing about it is, he was supposed to be able to kill Meech and them. He was supposed to, that was his assignment. He failed the assignment. So now he got to pay the price. Brian ain't no punk, though. One thing about Brian, man, Brian is a real nigga. So he's a cop, he got training and all that. So these brothers, they try to to finagle him and finesse him and want to stab him from the back. They should have shot him. You want to try to stab him, you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. So he he kicked their ass and stuff, man, from from the passenger seat. He bust their ass. He jumps out of the moving vehicle and stuff. He on his Rambo shit and stuff, so he good. So he gets out of there, man. Like, he, he ain't no punk. Meech and crew, they start making their plans for war. So we got we gotta see what we gonna do, man. We we gotta we gotta cap these niggas, man. It's, it's a it's a bunch of shit. Like we got teak wood, and we gotta sneak up in there. We gotta find out how to get up in there. We gonna kill these niggas, whoop to whoop, all that. So uh, we get back to Henrietta. I get Henry Henrietta, whatever it is, her little crew. So they failed to kill Brian. Ah, <sighs> so she like, they like man, he ain't no punk man. He he a he a beast. How can I expect y'all to, to do this and then y'all? I got to see y'all hands. So, Henrietta calls for a fair fight with homeboy. Man, I ain't fighting no girl. I ain't fighting no girl. Oh, because you injured. You think it's, it's a it's a, a lopsided fight. So, she cuts herself in the side. So, they both have an injury on the side. You call for for, for equality. You call for a fair fight. <laughs> right when my homeboy starts fighting against you, you pick up a knife and you stab him to death. 
you that was not the point of the situation. Like you, I want a fair fight. I want to see if you got some hands. And right whenever he start throwing hands, <laughs> you stab the fuck out of him. Okay, Henrietta. Oh, okay, okay. Anyways, uh, we got a little sex scene on here, like like Meech. Uh, Angel, Angel's a real one. Like she's a a, a dancer, but she ain't. I, don't, I wouldn't say she's a whore or a prostitute or anything like that. Like I don't think she was selling her booty in the club or whatever. But she. Her and Meech got a nice little relationship just because she's a, a exotic dancer. That doesn't say anything about her character. She seems like she's a real one. And she has a, a romantic gesture for her. So she she doesn't really do any pole work, but she dancing. Hey, she thicker than some two day old cold grits and stuff. But she, she uh, they, they handle their business. She dance for him and, and whatnot, give him a little, give him a little draws and whatever. So a little, a little shum, a little shum. Uh, Estelle hating the ass shows up to the crib. So I told I told you somebody seen Charles out having lunch. So it's Estelle, it's uh what you call him friend. Uh, I don't know why I can't think of uh of Meech mother's name, but anyways, you know who she is. And, and yeah, you gotta leave Charles. I seen him with this bitch and like that. So Charles comes in later on. She got a whole bat waiting for him. She waiting to bust his ass. And you did, you embarrassed me more than one time. I ain't gonna do this again, Charles. <laughs> he like, no, that was sister so and so. I was getting a song together, and like it, the the audio switches so quick, like it was so it was so terrible. But it was beautiful and terrible at the same time. He puts in the cassette tape. And then he starts singing, like, auto-tune and shit goes on his voice. Like, oh, I love you. I am our past and future. I'm like, okay. But he recovered the fumble. He recovered the fumble, man. So salute to Charles. And he gets him some draws, too. So the Flinnery boys are handling their business this episode. So it's a little bit of positive, at least in the love standpoint. Meech finds out about stacks, like, T was questioning Stax in this episode, like, man, we was at the gun range, but Stax wasn't around. Meech I always is like, man, I'm the older brother, man. I know what I'm doing. Meech had people watching Stax. So he he already yeah, had suspected him, but then he found out for real, like Stax was a bitch ass nigga. So he finds out about it. Anyways, uh Kevin. So they had Henrietta Crew was protecting him and stuff in jail. So since they fell out with Brian, his protection is gone. So they, these protectors have become his bullies. And then they end up raping them in, I, I hate to say it because YouTube, the, the algorithm or something, but uh, they end up sexually assaulting him and stuff like that. Like, uh, so it was, yeah, it was a, a bad moment on, on the, the episode, man. Like Kevin has been through hell like Brian isn't one of our favorite characters or something. You don't want to root for the police or whatever. But what Kevin is going through, like very tragic stuff. BMF goes to Tech Wood, and their whole thing is they they want a truce because they gotta get together for the MCs because the MC the, the MKs, so the the Miami Killers or whatever. So they their crew and they got military grade weapons and stuff. Man, we gotta put our beef to the side. Just for this to to defeat the MKs, uh, they like man, fuck, fuck you, nigga, and all this. But then, right whenever they was about to come to the head, the MKs actually do show up, and Stacks hating the whole ass show up, and they come through with their military grade weaponry, they, their numbers and stuff. They wiping out the projects, <laughs> tearing niggas up one uh, one after another and stuff. They got this little dude, Milton. His death was so cheesy. Like, <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Milton come in. Yo, I'm down with the crew. I got you. Come on. Milton, how you got a piece? Come on. And then the next thing you know, you just see him. See him. He has, he has one bullet hole. And it's, he falls. He falls at home by an arm. And then he got other holes all in him and stuff. I'm like, he had one hole. 
And then it looked like he had more holes and stuff. Like, okay. And then the way he fell, they didn't even really, I don't think they really showed him getting shot. He just turned around. Yo, I got you. I got you. <laughs> like, <laughs> we always, uh, people always clown about the terrible acting and stuff like this. Was, yeah, this was one of those. That was one of those moments right there. Uh, then we get to Henrietta. Back in, on another scene. And so Brian goes to try to get some help from uh, his, his ex-partner and stuff. They was about to try to take Brian down. But Brian is like, look, Kevin is going through some, through some stuff. I need your help. I need your help. Henrietta sprays him up. So she shoots everybody. Uh, shoots, shoots the crib. But Brian survives. Officer Chin or whatever. She survives. But the other partner don't look like she about to make it, man. Like she, she, gets, she gets towed up. Uh, back to Meech and them. So Meech and them, they they handling their business. They they in they shoot out, looking like the numbers are all, uh, against them. They had his rapper par partner, like he, he really had love for his rapper homie, like he because of fam uh, music really runs in the family and stuff. So he was pushing home bar, like I don't want you to be part of this. Your music is gonna live and all this. And like it, it ain't like he was J Cole or anything. He was he was talking. He had a uh, track about like bounce their ass, hope. Bounce their ass. Oh, yeah. Your music is deep. You're going to be the one. I'm like, okay. But anyways, so he gets killed. He gets killed, man. So that's a bad moment. Somebody in Meech's crew always is getting knocked off and stuff, man. Bad moment. But Meech, he's trying to shoot out, man. Oh, no. Try to be an emotional moment. Uh, It looks like it's, it's downhill from there. But then the I guess that was these Detroit, Detroit homies, right? But it, it was a, another crew, like they they are the other members of their crew and shit, and they show up, <laughs> and they even the odds, so they get them up out of there, so they able to to escape Techwood projects. <laughs> Two chains like yeah you bitch ass niggas yeah you, so home ball from the MKs turns, and commences to have Two Chains Harlem shaking. <laughs> That's how two chains died, man. Two chains died. Take that, take that. <laughs> so that was funny as hell, man. Like that was yo. You gotta watch this from a comedic standpoint, man. Like, don't watch this thinking about the wire and stuff like that. Man, just take it for what it is and enjoy the ride. Uh no diddy. <laughs> um uh, uh, away from the laughing matters and stuff like this, a real uh, tough moment in the episode. Like we see that Kevin uh, unalived himself. Like that's YouTube rules and stuff. Like we can't, you can't say certain words or whatnot or whatever. So that's sad. And he drew him a picture and stuff, and he told Brian like, "I'm not you. I'm not as strong as you and this and that. But I, I always love you and stuff." So. He didn't really harbor any ill feelings towards his father, but he just couldn't take it anymore, man. He been bullied out his whole life, and now they raping him and stuff in jail. Like he could, he couldn't take it, man. You can't be mad at the little dude, but it was it was a tough little scene. Meech, Meech decides to stay in Atlanta. Like everybody is gone. They like, man, we going back to the D and whatever. Come on, He's like man, look, this my family now. I can't. I can't be a man, say I'm a man, and this and that, talk about loyalty and stuff, and then, and then go back to Detroit with my tail between my legs and stuff, man. So he got to stand on business. So uh, Meech, he, he going to be a real one. But uh, Terry and them, they got to go back to Detroit, so they got to deal with Henrietta on, on his own. And uh, next episode, like my thoughts, is Henrietta, they trying to make her the new Lamar and stuff. She ain't no Lamar, dog. Like, she has a crew in all that. She's trying to lead by intimidation and stuff. She has a little sword. But uh, she ain't no Lamar. Lamar was a one-man one, one man wrecking crew. He was intimidating, man. He stood on business. He was crazy as hell. Like, Henrietta, she ain't no Lamar. She ain't, she ain't this dynamic on, on the show. Like, she ain't... You can't replace, can't replace homeboy. But uh, I enjoy it, man. You got to take it for what it is, man. 
it's, it's funny to me. It's funny to me. I, I, I like watching BMF. Like, I'm not thinking of, of it like The Wire and stuff like that, man. I just enjoy it for what it is. But anyways, that's my thoughts, man. Hopefully you enjoyed. It's super late. It's probably like almost 4 o'clock in the morning and stuff, man. But I stayed up, do it, did this for y'all and whatnot. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest and most hated me. I'll let you boy.